Hey, it's your boy Taylor Grant. I'm here with Bellator Claims Resolution and I'm here to talk to you about the denial of the day. All right, today's comes to us from Joyce of Longmont, Colorado. The insurance company has hired a general contractor to take over my claim. They submitted a revised estimate to me that is more than double of their prior offer. Interestingly enough, I asked this new general contractor that in that case, I'm going to use you guys to get the work done. So say you needed $100,000 and they started at $10,000, now they're at $20,000. And you say, okay, well, if you guys can do all the work that's required for 20 grand, I'll use you. The contractor, the general contractor refused, stating that they were hired just to do the estimate, not the work. You have to question that, okay? You have to question a general contractor that is hired by the insurance company to give an estimate, but are unwilling to do the work for the amount of the estimate that the general contractor gives you. Like, what world do we live in that that is fair? That you think that is normal, right? The insurance companies think that this is normal. Like, okay, well, we'll just have a general contractor go that we're paying, that the insurance company's paying for, so the general contractor technically works for the insurance company, okay? Remember that who is getting paid by who gives you an idea of who they truly work for, right? If you're paying them, they work for you. If the insurance company's paying them, they work for the insurance company. And the, if, if the insurance company is not giving you what you think you need to get your property repaired or replaced, why are you gonna trust a general contractor that is hired by the insurance company that won't do the work for the amount of their estimate because they know it's a low ball estimate? Right? Don't get me wrong. There's plenty of good GCs that are hired by the insurance company. I know multiple that have actually been super fair on insurance claims and have agreed within a two to 4% range of where our estimate comes in at is where their estimate comes in at. You know, we had a couple discrepancies here or there, maybe a couple measurements were wrong, whatever it might have been, right? But this is the deal. Two to four percent is doable. You can live with that. But if you're asking for hundred thousand dollars and the insurance company's only offering twenty thousand dollars, and when I say ask, you have estimates from a reputable contractor that is willing to do the work for that number, right? And then you tell the insurance company, "Hey, this is the number that we need to get our property repaired or replaced properly." And remember, the insurance company cannot force you to use any specific contractor. They want you to sometimes use the contractor they work with because it's less expensive for them. But this is the deal, okay? If the contractor is unwilling to do the work for their low ball estimate they're giving to the insurance company, they're gonna then send to you and say, look, we have proof that the general contractor's estimate says it's only $20,000 and your contractor says it's $100,000. We have proof now by a GC that's not fair. That's why you need to get us involved sooner than later. Because the sooner you get us involved, the more options you have, the more that we can fight the fight, right? So get us involved, bellatorclaims.com. Let me finish this here. So it looks like they're going to estimate how much it should cost someone else to do the work. But for them to do the work, it would be much more. This cannot be legal. It is ongoing for three plus months and there's no resolution. Okay, that's the other thing. The insurance companies drag this out as long as possible. They make money on the float. I'll do a video on that some other time and really get you to understand what I'm talking about when I say that. The insurance companies basically take your premiums and they invest it somewhere and make money on that. The longer they hold your money, the longer their money is in that investment. So, but this is the deal. What I'm getting back to, I digress. I know I'm a little off topic there, but what I'm getting to is this. When a general contractor that works for the insurance company comes out and estimates a project that they're unwilling to do for the price that they give back to the insurance company as their estimate because it's too low, you gotta question that, right? Like, hmm, they're getting paid by the insurance company. My contractor says we need $100,000. They're saying they can do it for 20, but they're unwilling to do the work because they know it's too little. So when that happens and you need somebody on your team, contact us, bellatorclaims.com.